Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 26, and today we are talking about the compressor. So that can be found in the FX tab on the drop-down menu here, the second row, the third module here. Now for this demonstration, I'm gonna be using a preset of mine, and it sounds kind of like this. Now there's a lot of other effects that I have added on this, but the only one I really have enabled is gonna be this distortion, which we've already talked about, so you should be familiar with what's going on here. Now for this compressor, what we see here at the very top, if we default these values, this graph here is going to be showing us no compression if it's going from the bottom left to the top right. And this meter right here is gonna be our gain reduction. As we can see, there's nothing happening here, so we have no compression going on. As soon as we drag down this threshold, we can start to see this meter change and we can start to see some, uh, start to see some compression happening. So right now we're getting 20 dB of compression. So let's double click this here and this dry slash wet knob is interesting because right now it's completely wet so it's, all the signal is getting through the compressor. However, we can always drag this down to do some type of parallel compression at 50% if we wanna do that or really any, any value in between. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna keep it all the way to the right at 100% wet. So moving on, we have the attack. So this is in two milliseconds at the default. So this is how long it takes for the compressor to start compressing. And then below that is gonna be the release, how long the compressor takes to release compression. Now in the center, we have this makeup, which is actually kind of nice. If we select this, this is going to have an automatic gain control. So we can more so focus on the compressor ourselves rather than having to make up the game manually and going back to threshold gain ratio and then making up the volume from the output gain right here. But if you don't want to do that, you can always deselect that and use your output gain to your liking. So let's do a little bit of compression and kind of keep this dynamic here a little bit more in control. First off, this ratio is going to be 2 over 1. I'm probably going to go something more to about 4 or 5 to 1, something kind of like that. And let's start to bring down our threshold and see how this sounds. And just by a small move like that, we can see that now that this waveform is a little bit more even. If I take this out, check, take a look how different it looks. Now let's really squash it and see what happens. Now that's gonna be 20 dB of gain reduction right here. Now you can see as I did lose a lot of gain here, that's where this makeup would come in handy. So with that makeup gain on and toggling this compressor on and off, we can actually really hear what the compression is actually doing. So let's do a pretty healthy or unhealthy, I guess this is a little too much compression right here. And let's keep this makeup on and see what it sounds like. So this is off. Now it's on. So a little bit of that pumping effect that we hear, that's the actual compressor working. So it's kind of nice having this makeup on because you can really listen, especially if you're having this isolated and you can kind of see exactly what the compressor is doing. But I would never compress something like that. That's kind of crazy. That's more for a demonstration purpose. Maybe we can always slow the attack down a little bit. If you notice what I did there, we're adding some compression, or not some compression, we're adding compression, yes, but we're also adding distortion with a very fast release time. Because those two concepts are almost fundamentally related. If we have a very fast attack and release, it's basically trying to release this compression that's so much so fast that it's actually distorting the waveform resulting in what we hear right here. As, I soon, as soon as I start to slow down this release again, it's, start, it's gonna start to go away. So very interesting concept. Hopefully you learned something from that. If you want to add some interesting distortion with the compression, that's how you do it. 
And last but not least, here is our output gain. So let's say we don't have our makeup on and we want to introduce our output gain, or maybe we have it on and we just want to increase the level a little bit more. This is the knob you'd reach for after everything is processed. This is your output gain going to the next module or to the outputs if you don't have anything else in line. So that's basically the compressor, the compressor in a nutshell. Next, we're going to cover the multiband compress compressor. And that one is very interesting because it has a lot of extra stuff that you maybe would not notice that it has. So Look forward to that video and we'll see you in the next one.